The first topic is shopping. Who wants to come in on that? Laura. I, um, I fully hate shopping and I've had to do quite a lot of it because of all the weight I've put on through the... I mean, who could have foreseen that being completely stationary with only access to supermarkets would have had this effect on my body? <laughs> <laughs> called a bad feminist for wanting to lose my lockdown weight. My mate told me I was a bad feminist for it. And I was like, oh, sorry, babe, I didn't realise. Like, let me know. So for every stone I shed, how many women lose the vote? <laughs> <laughs> didn't know it worked that way, you know. But she said, she said I was a bad feminist. And I was like, oh, OK, I, I, well, why? And she said, well, it's the patriarchy, isn't it? The patriarchy not, makes you not like your body. And I was like, well, don't get me wrong, sweetheart. Like, I, I love blaming men for stuff. <laughs> but in the case of what I look like, I don't remember a load of blokes coming round and making me biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said I was being willfully silly, and I was like, yes, that sounds like me. And she said, no, it's the patriarchy. It gives you, makes you not like your body because you've got unrealistic body standards. And I was like, well, actually, babe, I think you're second-guessing me there. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think anybody should have to lose weight. But if we're going to be body positive, that's got to go both ways. And, like, in the case of me not liking my body, it's not that I don't like my body because I don't look like a supermodel, it's that I don't like my body because I can't walk to the shop in a dress in weather over 22 degrees without my thighs bleeding. <laughs> to get rich off. I don't want to be a size zero. I just want for all my clothes to be sitting down clothes. <laughs> I'm tired of having a pile of trousers that I can wear, but only if I'm going to be stood up all day. And even then, I'll take my outfit off at the end of the day and every single seam and everything I'm wearing is imprinted into my flesh in livid little red lines. When I get naked, I look like a tailor's training dummy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Laura. <laughs> that leaves us with Alistair. Let's see what your topic is. Let's spin the wheel. And it's nationality. So I'm half Scottish, and it's mostly concentrated in the face, which is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> because I would like nothing better than to, you know, do celebrity impressions for you, but I can't, because whenever I try, they come out too Scottish. Like, if I try and do an impression of the actor Robert De Niro, I just look like a Scottish man who can't believe you're breaking up with him. <laughs> I love you. You're my world. How could you do this to me? You hear it? It's subtly Scottish. But, of course, red hair is, is going extinct. I don't know if you've heard this. I read it in the newspaper. Apparently, red-headed people are going extinct because of climate change. And, like, wow. Yeah, I, I thought it was because nobody was having sex with us. <laughs> apparently, it's climate change. <laughs> it is climate change, apparently. But that threw me. I thought, well, where does that leave? Red-headed people, what are we? A dying breed. And I realised what we are is the last great mythical beast of the British Isles. You know? <laughs> Griffins... Unicorns, the gingers. That's the way things are moving. <laughs> and I envy you. I envy you that the non-gingers, you're going to be able to say one day to your great-great-grandchildren, you know, I saw one once. <laughs> <laughs> A live ginger. That's going to blow their minds. Oh, tell us, what was it like? Are the stories true? They'll say, oh, it was indescribably beautiful. <laughs> I saw it there with the rays of light glinting in its copper mane as it gambled about unsteadily on a pair of milk bottle legs. <laughs> pausing just momentarily to ritualistically apply high factor sun cream. <laughs> and then, children, it looked up at me and our eyes met and we shared a magical moment. And then it ran off into the shade. <laughs> And I shouted, ginger pubes! You have ginger pubes! <laughs> to make sure that he knew. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alistair. Well done. That was great. Points there to Laura. Laura gets a point there. Come on, sit back.